There's a bug like an angel in the sky. There's a bug and a monkey in my pie. Monkey in my pie, guys. The song is Bug Like an Angel by Mitski, the one and only song written by Mitski the Great. Random words. Well, okay, standard tuning. Guys, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to play this song. It's very easy and short and quick. First, I would like to show you the way that I believe Mitski plays it on the actual recording of a, a, the Bug Collector. Gosh, darn it, what's, I, it's called A Bug's Life. Guys, the song is called Bug Like an Angel. Get it right. This is what I think she does. Standard tuning, ninth fret on the top string, ring a uh, pointer finger on the ninth fret of the top string, ring finger on 11th fret of the second string from the top. Then your pinky plays 11 on the third string from the top. Guys, classic power chord. Up here on the ninth fret, it just so happens to be a D flat power chord. Now, couple little tips on the power chord, one, with your pointer finger. Don't try to use the very tip of your finger. Kind of use the pad of your finger. One, it's gonna be just easier to push down on the string. Two, you can then use this part of your finger to just touch the other strings. It's not a bar chord. I'm not smashing down on the other strings. I'm just touching them. So that way we can mute the bottom three strings. That's good, that ugly, clicky, thunky sound. Thunky, what does that mean? My point is, that's what we want. Okay, uh, so that's the pointer finger tip. Now, non-pointer finger tip. Your ring finger and your pinky. I would like, okay, well that was confusing because I just said don't use the tip of your pointer finger and then immediately after I said that was the pointer finger tip. That was the hint, the quick trick with your pointer finger. Don't use the tip. Okay, now, ring finger and pinky. Guys, here's what I want you to do. They're gonna be up close to each other in that 11th fret. That 11th fret, not sure if you've noticed, it's kind of skinny. It's kind of a tiny little, tiny little fret. Have the nail of your pinky push up against the pad of your ring finger like that, and then you can nicely tuck them away into that 11th fret. If you strum this chord, it should sound like this. Great job. Let's learn the strumming pattern. Strumming goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down. So really slowly, that was down, down, up, up, down. It's pretty important that you play that rhythm like that. If you do like down, up, down, up, down, I mean, you can do it, but it's going to make it so much harder for you to like play and sing at the same time. You're just, your whole rhythmic equilibrium is gonna get thrown off. I just made that up. I'm gonna write a book, a music theory book called Rhythmic Equilibrium by Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown with help from Mitski, the great and the one and only. See, here's the problem. There's very little material to learn in this song, so I feel like I have all this time to talk about random crap. I'm gonna try to focus on the song. We're gonna get through it, guys. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, play with me, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down. Immediately after that, you're gonna go all the way to the fourth fret. So pointer finger on four, ring finger on six, pinky on six. St another power chord, this is an A flat power chord. You just keep the same exact shape with your hand same strings, you just move it back there. Now, that's a pretty big shift, right? Going from here to here. But the reason why I think this is what Mitski plays is because you can hear the sliding down. You could play it right, well, okay, shut up, Stuart, Stuart, you're getting ahead of yourself. We'll get to that later. So we're on nine, and then we go down to four. D flat to A flat. Let's just practice those two chords. We're gonna do the same strumming on each chord. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Great job. At this point, you're gonna relocate this chord all the way up to the 11th fret. So pointer fingers on 11, ring fingers on 13, and pinkies on 13. I forgot to put the fake dots on my guitar. Look, this is my this is my ninth fret right here. It's confusing, I know. My 12th fret is right here. Even though it doesn't have two dots on it, this is my 12th fret, I promise. This is an E flat power chord, do the exact same strumming. Down, down, up, up, down. 
Then you're gonna move this chord to the sixth fret. Pointer finger on six, ring finger on eight, pinky on eight. Those other, those quick tips that I said at the beginning, those still apply. For each of these chords, you wanna use the pad of your pointer finger, you wanna mute the bottom three strings, you wanna have these two fingers glued together like that. Those are the four, this is a B flat power chord. Did I mention that? Guys, let's play those four chords all together with the same strumming in that order. Let's do it twice in a row. One, two, here we go. A down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up to 11, down, down, up, then six. One more time, gang. Ninth fret, fourth fret, 11th fret, sixth fret. You did a great job. You did a really good job. There's one, there's one change that happens later in the song. When she sings, rookie mistakes mistake of an amateur amateur mistake she sings something about an amateur mistake at that point it goes like this it goes just plays the first chord this is the ninth fret one then you're gonna go all the way down to the first fret and do the power chord there so it's one three three this is an F power chord then you do it there again so you do it here twice in a row and then you go back up to nine and do it there just one more time. So that little hunk was ninth fret, first fret, first fret, ninth fret, and then we go right back into the rest of the song. Understood? To practice this, let's go ahead and play our, our main four chords that we do throughout the entire song. It was the ninth fret, fourth fret, 11th fret, sixth fret. We'll do that once. Then we're gonna do our amateur mistake part, which was nine, one, one, nine, one, one! Emergency alert! Guys, red alert, emergency time. Club Penguin. Okay, so we're doing nine, four, 11, six, then nine, one, one, nine, and then again, nine, four, 11, six. So let's play through that. One, two, here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go, nine, amateur mistake part. Stay there. Then up to nine, then stay there. Here we go. Now we're back to the regular chords. Guys, that's the entire song. It ends. It ends on the um, on the sixth fret. So the last time, after you've sung through all the words, you just go nine, four, eleven. Six and you just let that no ring out. So here's what I was gonna say earlier about I think this is I think this is how Mitski plays the song, where she's all up on those top three strings because you can hear the guitar sliding around a little bit, like moving along the strings. There is a different way you could play it, which is like this, where the first chord, instead of going all the way up to nine, you could play four on the second string from the top, six on the third from the top, six on the third from the bottom. Then though, here's the trick. If you're doing it this way, your pointer finger has, the very tip of your pointer finger has to just touch the top string and mute it. Because we don't want the top string in there. We want the top string to be muted. Then you can go like this. You can play a D flat power chord. Same exact chords, just a different way to finger them. You go boom. Then you move that up to the fourth fret. You just take all three fingers, bump them up to the top three strings. Then, for the E flat, we're gonna play six on the second from the top, and then eight, eight. You still have to mute the top string with your pointer finger. And then you get to go up here to the sixth fret on the top string. And it's like, it's easier to keep track here, but it's a little bit physically harder to make everything sound right because you have to make sure to mute the top string. And it's just a little bit tricky to switch strings. This is like the, this right here is like, I think how Kurt Cobain wrote songs. He would just have power chords and kind of make these just symmetric type little patterns moving the power chords around. I don't know, maybe that's how Mitski wrote it or maybe she wrote it on piano and then it's totally different. I don't know. Anyway, those are two completely viable ways to play the song, but let me show you yet one more way. If you don't want to use power chords and you want to just use regular open chords, 
you're gonna need a capo. Go ahead and put capo on the first fret. And then you're just gonna go like this. You're gonna play a C, G, D, A. Let me show you those chords really quick. This will, this is not what the guitar is playing in the recording. This is sort of like a mix of the piano part and the guitar part combined. It's up to you. It's your call. It's your prerogative. It's your derogatory, guys. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Middle finger, third fret. No, shoot, darn, darn. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the top. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. Pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. C chord, if you can, have your thumb mute the top string, but it's not the end of the world if you can't. You're gonna do the same strumming. One, two, or then you switch to a G chord. For this song, there's many ways to play a G chord. Just like there's many ways to... Okay. Guys, the skin of cat thing is so weird. Why is that an expression? There are many ways to skin a cat. It's like, it's terrible. That's like, oh, there's many ways to murder a baby. Like, wh I don't understand. So I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna say... Uh, there's many ways to murder a baby. Um, this is just one of them. Uh, you've got the C chord. Here's what I recommend you do. Just take your middle finger and your ring finger. Boom! Shoot them up to the top two strings. And then just do that. Like, if you want to put your pinky on the third fret of the bottom string, great. Or don't even worry about the bottom string, guys. I don't even care about the bottom string. All right, so we've got C. Then G. Then you're gonna go to a D. D is middle finger, second fret, bottom string. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. Pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Now for this chord, it's pretty crucial that you, you use your thumb to mute the top string. If you refuse, or if you are really are convinced you are unable to do such a thing, then just make sure not to play the top string. Only strum the bottom few strings. I would just aim for the bottom like three strings, and then if you mess up and hit an extra string or two, it's okay. And then we go to an A. Oh, the first chord most people learn. You're gonna put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Middle finger, second fret, third from the bottom. Ring finger, yeah, second fret, second string from the bottom. You also can use middle, ring, and pin. I'm giving you so many options today. I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done this. That's the A chord. Let's practice those four chords. One, two, three, four. All right, and then when we get to the amateur mistake part, you're gonna go like this. C, then E minor, top string open. Middle finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the top. The rest of the strings are all open. Play the E minor twice, then go back to C. So that was just C, E minor, E minor again, C. Then you start the whole thing over again with the C, then to G, and then the D, and then you finally end the song on A. It's the A chord. Guys, I talked about some controversial topics in today's thing. Talked about skinning cats. There was something else that I said that I that I feel like I should edit out of the video because it was a little gross. But that's how you play Mitski's hit song, The Bug's Life by Mitski, also known as Bug Like an Angel. Have a, have a nice afternoon.